Hey, what's going on? My name is Trout. Welcome back to Digimon World Next Order. Oh, shoot. I hit the wrong button once again. Classic dumb fuck. So, uh, last time, we, uh, we had the fan on and it was not that loud. And this time, the fan sounds like a fucking tornado running through my room. I can't do anything about it. What I can do while the game loads up Pull, pull my, uh, my tower out a bit so my mic will reach a bit closer and hey look at that maybe I don't sound maybe I sound a little less like shit hey how are you doing what's going on how are you Digimon World Next Order we're jumping in episode 3 thank you for coming out let me turn my volume oh shit my volume is at 60 Jesus fucking Christ that's too much volume I need that I think 12 is like acceptable volume do I have to no okay I don't have to Pretty excited to play Digimon, so hopefully my dudes don't fucking die instantly like they did last time. Jacob is not here with me right now. He may be joining me shortly. He is currently at work. When we last left off, I uh, fucking solved Talmon's bitch ass riddles, and I have a uh, Meteormon and Umamon. Good friends here. Good friends. So Jacob has picked up the game and he has made it farther than me because his Digimon didn't insta-fucking die before they became ultimates. So, you know, I feel pretty good about that. I'm actually not gonna home gate my way back. And instead, I'm gonna walk back. Because I would like to go beat the shit out of Garudamon. And I think that's a reasonable request. Other things I've learned from watching uh, Jacob play <coughs> is that I cannot outrun this dude. Or can I? Oh my god, I can. I did not learn that by watching him. I learned that uh, I can raise their bond together with, I believe it was drinks. So yeah. All drinks. Now, I, I feel like I can take out Garudamon. Because I have an ultimate. Even if it's not a great ultimate, I have an ultimate. Uh, because Jacob had an ultimate and destroyed it. He had a good ultimate, though. So, like, I don't know. I, this could be a bad ultimate. Hell, this could be a fucking top-tier ultimate. We're gonna fight the Shugamon. And we're gonna see how my ultimate does. And we're gonna have to fight a Shugamon and, like, two Shumamons or whatever the fuck they're called. But I think we'll be okay. Okay. We're not as okay as I would have liked. And we're still doing alright. We're not doing great, though. Like, my champion is not, like, top tier kicking butt right now. Actually, we're doing quite not great. To the point that I, I will retreat. We have made a horrible mistake. But hey, I mean, they already fucking hate each other, so, you know. What's the downside? Is there any reason to go down there? I don't think there is. I think that's just another random Shugamon to be like, hey. Why don't you why don't you fight this dude? And there's no reason for me to fight that dude. What the fuck is this? Oh, it's a Digistock. Cool. I will happily take that. They ain't happy, let me tell you that. My Digimon, they are not like top tier happiness. I also have no idea where I am. Yeah, they don't like each other. I will do my best to, like, exclusively raise them with, like, drinks and stuff. Also, I don't think he had Digimon that hated the volcano. Are you fucking kidding me right now? We can take it. We can take this dude. Are you fucking with me right now? Are you actually fucking with me right now? Fuck it, we're done. I'm gonna start this off with a lot of dumb sh- Get out. <sighs> Not starting this one off in a pleasant mood. Take the bandage. Okay. Autopilot. Since we're fucking stuck there anyway. 
You're back, Trey. I have good news. Bergeron has come back to Floatia. He was carrying something. What the heck is going on? You should go and take a look. The city's prosperity is now 12. No, okay, I got some trainer points. I don't know what my original plan to spend the trainer points on was. Like maybe I should just do this. Boost parameter inheritance by one level at rebirth. Maybe that's good. I don't know if I care. I think I just like really want more natural life. Like I just don't want my Digimon to die. Boosts. Boosting recovery from sleep is pretty good. Happiness when using the bathroom. Happiness when eating. That's actually, like, really good. I should use that one. I'm gonna have to feed them often. So they're like, Bergeramon has some, some dank meat scrubbed. I don't fucking know. You gonna build stuff for me? Hey, Trey, you're late. I'm ready to go. What am I doing? Well, you can call me a cinder. I use my powers to quickly take you to areas you've already been... Oh, thank God! Of course, it'll cost you. Time is money, don't they say that? God, I don't want to fucking pay money to quit travel. It's dumb. We're gonna have to. Okay. So before we go to bed for the night, we are gonna head out into the field one last time. Because we have a... We have a Bergeron in town. It is, it is straight up a flying Digimon in town. If this is not what Biomon wants, I'm at a fucking loss. Okay. They need to, like, love each other more. Do I have drinks? I have one. Yo, they are not happy. Here, I'll feed you in a second. We're gonna go to the, we're gonna go to the vending machine. We're gonna fucking blow money on drinks. So you guys will hate each other a little less. I understand. You're not happy. I'm not going to concern myself with your happiness right now. I'm not trying to get into any fights or training and you guys are like... It's it's end of the night. Your happiness is about to get reset anyway. 4,500. Just buy like six of these. And by five of them, I have the sixth one is my neon drink. Okay. So neon drink goes to blow. Because he's the ultimate, he's doing the work. Did your friend value got a little better? Wisdom plus one. Partner like this got an extra. Okay. Right, he likes drink, so it was good to give it to him anyway. Now you're gonna get one of the waters. And then I'll give them both waters. Did your friend value got a little better? Now, it's not going up. I'm hoping that it starts going up. But I have no idea. Maybe I just wasted money and that's not at all what this does. Okay, I think I'm just incredibly confused about what anything is supposed to do anymore. So just eat your meat and be done. So, no, drink doesn't raise their fucking mood with each other, apparently. That's dumb. Kind of thought that was the whole point, but whatever. As you can tell, I'm pretty salty about the, uh, extreme escalating difficulty in this game. Because I've, I've noticed in playing it, and watching Jacob play it and me playing it myself after my Digimon died, uh, if you don't have champions, you can barely progress past this area. And then once you have higher, if and then even with just champions, it's still super hard to make any progression. There's a thunking outside. Beamon, please tell me. Please tell me. Oh, thank you. The Bergermon, I'd love to be a fly like Bergermon. No time to waste. Thanks for letting me know. Nice. We finally accomplished it, everyone. We've done what we needed to do. I still love you, boy, Kevin's run. Should I just be picking fights with every scrub that gets in my way? Is that what's going to boost their, like, camaraderie or whatever? I feel like that's a smart thing to think. Is that just, like, them fighting together will boost it? 
I really miss Steven and Freed. They got along great, did what I had to do. You're both doing fine. Okay. Digifriend up one. What is Digifriend then? Is that them with me? Is Bond them together and Digifriend is like us? I'm not sure. Things I just don't understand. Either way, we're making our way back to town. We have no real need to be here. What is their health at? It went up by seven by winning that fight. So I think winning fights is important for them. Okay. What is Beomon? Come back to Floatia. Working as a cinder. What was the point of Beomon, though? Like, why do I care that Beomon's back? What does Beomon give me? Helping out my favorite teacher for the sake of my education. Keep on using Cinder, you'll get something good out of it. Okay, so I guess maybe she just gives me something for using the Cinder. Interesting enough. Let's make sure I got all my meat and everything for the end of the day. Alright, cool. Anything in here I care about? Not particularly. Not even really going to train them. Just wasting time till it's bedtime. Tomorrow, we're going to go out. We're going to fight the Garudamon. Assuming it's cheap enough, we'll fly there. And then after doing that, we will... Okay, well, we'll, we'll run to the bathroom first. And then I actually want to talk to Wormmon. Because <clears throat> I know... I think Numamon likes me. Okay. Happiness went up. Quite a bit. What was it? Your boy Kevin's favorite is meat, and Blub likes Digistock. Okay, good to know. I'm just gonna wait patiently. And I hit the wrong button. Whatever, I don't care. I'll just wait. I was gonna check my food and stuff, but I'll see it in the morning. And their happiness will reset when they're asleep. We're gonna get a fresh start tomorrow. <clears throat> All right, bedtime. Your boy Kevin just blumps. All right. MP and fatigue, Ravon, Bond, did you friend? All right. Your boy Kevin ain't happy. I think I have to start his day off by giving him some meat. As much as I don't really want to, like, he's just not happy without it. So, Blub... Gets the digi stocks. Because that raises happiness, lowers his weight, which the meat throughout the day will help fix. Did that fill him up? Nope. But we can just meet both of them. That should fill Blub up and get your boy Kevin up there. I'm just not going to worry about his weight. He'll eat whatever he wants to eat. I'm not concerned. Let's go. So you're, you're, both of your HP is good, right? Before we head out on this adventure? Looking fine. Okay. Get me. I say we just head out if we can. A thousand to go to the freaking desert? Screw it. We'll just we'll just go on the adventure ourselves. We're not spending that money. I think we go on the adventure ourselves. We pick any fights that get in our way. It is east we want to go. We pick a fight with anyone that wants to get in our way to try and boost up their friendship. So if someone does not instantly back out of our way, they're going down. So this dude better move. Nope, didn't move, so he's going down for sure. Immediately. If anything, this will boost their camaraderie. And it should be useful. They'll get a little bit of stat from it. And then I'll, of course, praise them for winning a fight.
So we head this way to go to the desert, I believe. I can never remember. Never good with directions. But either way... Oh, did you stop? We'll go to the desert. We're going to fight Garudamon. And I saw... Jacob did something that I hadn't found. And I'm going to show it off if I can find where it is. I didn't see where it was. I just saw it. It's something in the desert. And then I think it's hard left this way is Garudamon. If you got some ons, want to pick a fight, we can. For if we just didn't. Okay, well, here we go. Destroyed instantly. Whatever it takes, my dudes. Whatever it takes. Out the way, please, good sir. <clears throat> Hallowed Hall. So here we've got Grimon that's like, this is my turf, what do you want? We should be able to do this, right? Like, we should be okay to beat him now with an ultimate. This is still caution. He hits us hard, but we hit him hard as well. I think if I just spam recovery discs, we'll be okay. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. Although, I do think I need to start focusing on getting uh, some more MP on Blub. Because he is blowing through it real fast. Okay, that's going to help him a ton right there. So if nothing else, we're beating him. Even if it's not as dominantly as we would prefer. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Use the regen disc on him. Let him live this fight. And then start spamming fucking recovery discs. How's that fucking garbage? What am I supposed- I couldn't heal him! Are you fucking kidding me? It's fucking garbage! Fuck, I'm getting sick of this. What the fuck was I supposed to do if it doesn't let me use items? If he just kills me when I'm reviving him? Boo fucking who! You're injured. Take the band-aid. Here's my medicine. Take it. Fuck off! Just leave. I'm real pissed about that. That's such fucking bullshit. Okay. Next thing we're gonna attempt... We're going to try going to the desert again. But we're not going to go to that part of the desert. We're going to try and find the thing that Jacob did. I don't know why you're such a shit ultimate. I don't know what I did to fuck up and get you. Like, I'm not even walking. Oh, fucking I'm not even, like, walking back to a toilet. I'm just take the portable toilets. I have 17 of them. Is it, like, actually better to just take the loss than run away? Because other than them getting injured, like, I didn't lose anything, it seems, from just losing. So I don't fully understand why I would ever give a shit to run away. Are they at, like, a risk of death if they lose? I would assume so, but, like, they get so shitty from running away, and they're always at a risk of death, apparently. Okay. 
I feel like there will be an area over here somewhere for me to exit through to go to that place that Jacob did. Is this the oasis? This is the server cemetery, so this is the oasis. Which means from here, are there other directions for me to go to find that stuff that Jacob did? To which I think probably. These are all just normal Gatsuman. None of them seem to want to pick fights, so whatever. I'm not going to make them. Uh, it was probably back here where he found what he's looking for. If you want to fucking go, I will handle you easily. I have no cares at how low our health is. It is, uh, it is good enough to destroy you. You guys actually did good for once in that fight. Yeah, you didn't ask for praise when you got your shit pushed in. Did ya? What the hell is this? Is this just a brick? This is just a brick. I'm gonna walk this way. If the Garamon pops up with me, I'll battle it. Oh, there it is. Oh, goodbye. Tower Road. This is... Okay. This is the thing that Jacob saw. They are level 23. So this is a riddle. Go talk to number zero first. I thought you were number zero, I'll be honest. So this is a thing. I can't get to number zero. It's surrounded by psych mons. That are all trying to start fights with me. Okay. I've been waiting for you, human. I heard you're really clever. Can you solve a puzzle for me? I'll give you something nice if you get it right. Let me explain. So, I, I did this once with Jacob. And we got it wrong. If you get it wrong, you can't try again until the next day. I'm going to assume it means next in-game day. But it could mean next real life day. Because we only did the one attempt. So I at least know one answer that it's not. There are Meteor Mon number 1 through number 5 here, but one of them is actually a Gatsumon, and only one of them is lying. And despite the fact that that sounds like it should be incredible, incredibly obvious, like, okay, I have a Meteor Mon, go stand next to them. Jacob had a Gatsumon when he did this. Uh, they all, they're all Meteor Mon. One of them is just, it just is a Gatsumon, apparently, even though it looks nothing like one. So what we're going to do right now to try and make this a wee bit easier is uh, I'm going to take this receipt I have next to me. I'm going to take a pen and I'm going to write some of this down. You'll understand why when we get into it. So there's five Meteor Mon, one of them is a Gatsumon, and only one of them is lying. I want you to figure out who is the Gatsumon and who is the liar. So can you talk to all five? Here's what I know. Uh, we said that, or I'll show you what we said, once I inevitably get into this fight here. Again, surprisingly only one Psychmon. Who is just going to take like a lot of hits, just like a ton of damage. So like, I can eat hits, but they are eating hits too. For sure. Thankfully, I can now do this to hopefully try and finish it off. And if this doesn't work, I can use Meteor Mon's ability. It worked, though. Or did it? Huh. Galactic Flare. Well, time to see both of their moves, at least. And this will finish it off for sure. That's at least, like, a pretty cool move for such a shitty ultimate. Alright, let's hope we don't have to fight too many more of those, even though they're fucking everywhere. Okay. So we have to talk to each one. 
So this is Gatsumon 3. The one opposite me is not a Gatsumon. So we're going to draw this. We're going to draw a number 3 on the receipt. So the one opposite him is not a Gatsumon. That would be this guy over here. So let's go talk to him, see what he has to say. This is number five. So he is across from three. The Gatsumon ends every sentence with okay. So we're not sure if he's the liar. So we said, I believe, I don't remember what we said now, and that's going to fucking cost me it, isn't it? So he says that every Gatsumon, or that the real Gatsumon ends every sentence with okay. Number four says, the one next to him is lying. Which guarantees that either four or two is the liar. So one of those two is the liar. So that, that's already one way we got it wrong. I didn't even notice this. Because if, if two is not the liar, four is the liar. So one of them is a liar. And two says the one facing east isn't a Gatsumon and then ends his sentence with okay. So we've got two Gatsumon facing east. And that's, I believe this is number one. Who simply says, I am not a Gatsumon. We have no reason to not believe him. He cannot be a liar, so one for sure is not a Gatsumon. This, this adds evidence to number two telling the truth, because he's facing east, he's not Gatsumon. And then this one right here is one saying that the one opposite him is not Gatsumon. He can't be a liar. So that guarantees that... What is that? That's five. Or is that four? The one opposite him. That would be him. So that would actually be four. That is not a Gatsumon. Who is who we're believing is the liar as well. Yes, number number four is the liar. I'm, I'm almost positive. So number four is the liar. That leaves either him or him as the Gatsumon. He says that the real Gatsumon ends every sentence with okay. He says that the one facing east isn't a Gatsumon and then ends in sentence with okay. To my knowledge, there is no way to tell the difference between whether that one's Gatsumon or that one's got to mon. So I don't know. There, there I just don't think there's a way to tell. So I am going to I'm going to make a guess here. I'm going to make a guess. That number Five. Shit, I'm stuck. We know four's the liar. So it's between five and two being Gatsumon. And I think I want to say that number two is the Gatsumon. <laughs> and if we're wrong, we can just come back and say that number five is the Gatsumon. And I think that's the best way we're going to be able to figure this out. Get some points on everyone. Apparently not enough points though. But it's okay because Saigmon's dead. We're building up their camaraderie a bit more. Got a portable toilet back. Oh, they would like some love. They can have it. Oh, they're also hungry. This is also fine. Your boy Kevin encouraged his friend. How nice. Give them both meat. Just fill them up quick.
Much less hungry, get some more. So I'm going to say 2 is the Gatsumon, and I think 4 has to be the Liar. I don't think there's a way around that. I think 4 is the Liar. But then I think it comes down to 2 and 5 being Gatsumon. Which one is the Liar? It has to be 4. Like, I don't think there's any way that 4 is not the Liar. And I'm going to go with 2 being the Gatsumon. The Liar's number four and Gatsumon is number two, Craig. I have no idea how to tell if it's five or two. That's the Gatsumon. I just guessed on that one. A lapse of precipice. Excellent work, detective. What the hell does that do? When used on a champion Digivolve, instant partner instantly Digivolves to Meteormon. Why the fuck would I want that? I literally have a Meteor Mon. And even if I didn't, Meteor Mon does not seem to be a rather exclusive Digimon. Like, why do I care that I can get a Meteor Mon instantly now? What a terrible reward. But at the very least, hey, we got it done. Get your poop attack going. Phone, what time is it? 8.49. Acceptable time. Just gonna let him get the blow. I'm not even gonna waste the time with the cutscene of the galactic flare or whatever. I would like to talk to this Gargamon down here, for I do not know what this Gargamon wants. Oh, excuse me. What do you need, Gargamon? Name's Gargamon. You're a human, ain't you? Never thought I'd meet a human in a hot spot like this. It's dangerous to be around, so keep your distance. Alright, so it seems there's no real reason to just, like, for Gargamon to be here. This Sightmon will now pick a fight with us. Unless I can just barely outrun it if I don't make any turns, and it has left us. We're gonna scout out this next area, just to see what's over here. Bus Terminal. Oh, good lord, I don't think I want to be here. Yeah, I think with how much, like, the Psychmon were taking, how many hits they were going, I think I'd be in trouble. Shamamon, I'm not concerned about. I'm just going to do my best to outrun them. Oh, I almost did. Three Shamamon is maybe a bit more concerning, but not by a lot. Oh, he just insta-killed one with that crit. No, he didn't. He just did a lot of damage. Good bulk there. Now let's get a, uh, a poop move going. Finish someone off. Probably the one that's about to die, because I feel like your boy Kevin would be stupid enough to waste this move on him. I was correct. Now let's get you using root bind. So unfortunately, uh, Blub pretty low on MP. So I'm going to let support build up, use root bind. I was going to try and get more points for him, but it doesn't look like that's going to work out. Can't even root mind again. I think everyone's still doing good. Now it's a two-on-one fight. We're going to be okay. Cootie's kick is helping a lot. Get some more points on Gatsumon so that he can root bind him. And a combo attack as well. Alright. Tomorrow I will probably invest into being all training. Learn someone learned blackout? Jesus. Who learned blackout? 
wasn't you. Well, I mean, the skill was in general. Can either one use Blackout? I don't think so. No. Blackout's one of these, right? Yup. Adds confusion, I assume. I would like to just leave, actually. I don't want to fight you. Cool. So here's Server Cemetery. Where Garamon is going to bum rush us. Both have caught us. Again, not a huge concern. They're both low on MP, which sucks. I have missed. I meant to do root bind, that's my own bad. I'll do it now. They should be pretty good comrades. Like, rotten meat, what the fuck? I mean, I say they should be pretty good comrades, they immediately, like, go at each other's throats. Shamamon shouldn't want any of this. He does not. So we're gonna head... We're gonna make our way back home, but we're not gonna go home yet. We're going to go plant this seed that Talmon told us to in this day. Before we get to training. And I think... Because of how difficult this game has gotten... With, like, getting these shit Digimans... Pun partially intended. I think... No, I don't think I'm at the point of choosing my Digimon yet. Or attempting to. What the fuck? Okay, not where I wanted to be. So, because this is not where I wanted to be, we're gonna use the toilets. And we're going to go plant the seed. Okay. So let's continue traversing here. That should be our exit. Running low on time, but we still, we still should have plenty to, uh... Are you fucking kidding me right now? That's cool in the background, though. I should just travel north, right? Like, just traveling north should take me where I need to go. I'm gonna hope I just made a weird fuck-up. And, like, this over here will be my way out of here. I don't want to fight this thing. There it is. There's my exit. There we go. Okay, cool. And then from here, we want the power plant. Which I, I just genuinely don't know where it is. Like, I don't remember. So we're just gonna make our way towards all of the potential exits to go plant this seed. Yeah, tomorrow will be all about, like... Okay, cool. Right choice. Specifically, I need to put emphasis on uh, MP, but I'll, I'll train everything. Their MP is not awful. They're just burning through it pretty fast. Now, I will grab the Digistalk, though. And I believe it was right here. That we plant this thing or very nearby here. There's another conductor lemon. Not sure what that's good for, but might as well take it. Still have no use for materials this late in the game. It's, well, I'm chapter one. I'm not late in the game, but like, you know what I mean. Over here, was it? No. 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 
Where was that area? Was it behind the uh, little conductor things? A little sur oh, there it is. Okay, cool. With plenty of time to get home, too. Oh, we've got friendos here as well. I think this would be a good place to plant the illegal seed that Talon gave us. What do you say? Hey, hurry up and plant the illegal seed already. Okay. And so it was done. Our herb farm began. You planted the illegal seed. Come back in 24 hours to see what happens. I'm gonna assume 24 hours in game. He's waiting for us. This guy really is bossy. The home will definitely be able to help. Okay, give me this. We will feed them. Despite it being so late in the day, they do still deserve to eat. Their camaraderie's up to like 13. Like it could definitely be better, but it's it's going up at least. Tomorrow's going to be a training day, and we'll come back tomorrow, well not tomorrow, tomorrow's training day, then the day after we'll come back, look at the seed, then go pick a fight with Garudamon if we think we're ready, which we should be. We beat Garudamon. For some reason it wouldn't let me use items, I don't know if he had some magic fuck ability that just wouldn't let me, or what, but that's the way it is. I will give my dudes some stuff to raise their stats even better. Food boosts only last for like six hours, so. There's tasty food around here. Oh, there's a Digistalk. I also need to grab as many Digistalks as possible for whatever the fuck the arena quest ends up being. I assume at some point I'm going to have to fight Old Force Vmon, and that's going to suck. I'm definitely not ready for that. But whatever. And that Meteor Mod I'm sure is fucking useless. We'll go in here. We'll talk to you. Get some soccer bird. Hell, we'll do uh we'll do one MP training for everyone. That's going to help boost it up. Then they got to poop, and then we can all go to bed. Then tomorrow, of course, will be the training day. Where shit's going to get done. Hopefully your boy Kevin digivolves. Hopefully no one dies, or I'm going to be stuck in training hell all over again. But we'll just have to wait and see. Do 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 do. Have I talked to you? This bed is awesome. Oh shit. Uh, stuff I don't really care about. Also, I've been completely forgetting that there's an EXE option. Like, if you hit L1 and L1 at the same time, I just haven't been paying attention to that. So now we can go to bed. Take a good, solid nap. All right, all good. Let's get my items. I know, I know you're hungry. I know you're hungry. And we'll, we'll get you your food. Don't worry. We gotta waste 24 hours anyway. Might as well, you know, good day to train. I think I got my toilet the other day. Whatever, I got plenty of toilets. Okay, you can give me something to do. <coughs> all right. Gotta feed them. So, Ginseng improves MP and Strength, and that's HP and Speed. Both are very good. I will give one to each of you. Still hungry. Let me give another one to each of you. And then Blub gets Digistalks. Which I still am getting plenty of. 
full, and then you're gonna get meat. You hungry? Are you ready? No strength first. Let's start MP. Start MP, go HP, then up stamina strength. I still have no idea if, like, the bonuses mean anything other than just, hey, you got a bonus. And they boost stuff. I don't know if the individual bonuses matter or if it's just as many bonuses as you can get. But it's whatever. Shit. I do know you want to get consecutive bonuses because it makes it easier to get bonuses that way. Uh, let's do one more, then rest. We, of course, want their strength to be up. Now you guys can rest. And food will boost them for one more hour, so we will start at MP again. And now they are hungry, and I will feed them. Oh, uh, HP and speed. And just feed them meat. Just get them full. It'll be okay. I have missed a phone call from Jacob. I will now make this phone call while training. Let's see here. Still plenty of time to train, but they do need to rest a little. Hello. Hi. Um... Sure. Yes. Okay, I'm playing Digimans right now. As a matter of fact. Alright. I will see you... Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. Bye. Bye. So with that, I have boosted up my Digis a good amount. Give, this all you've got. Give them one more good train in MP. Feed them their meats. And then we can get a rest and like one more HP train going. And then this will be like a much shorter... Not almost a stream. A much a much shorter video than what you're probably used to. As I will be heading out soon. And we will find out what happens on our uh, adventure in the next episode. Will my boys be able to defeat Garudamon? What happens when we plant the seed? Only time will tell. Either way, we've accomplished a lot here today. They have done both very good with their training. Numamon, may you reach higher up. Someday. Hopefully in the morning. Soccer bird radish. And everyone can now go to bed. We didn't we didn't get much productivity done. We got like a side quest done. And that's about it. You know, some videos gotta be short and others. Some things gotta get done. So it's We're gonna put them to sleep. Make sure nothing happens to them in their sleep. Good night. Your boy Kevin doesn't want to wake up. Well, your boy Kevin needs to get up. And I will feed them when we come back. Thank you! for joining me for this short video of Digimon World Next Order. Uh, I appreciate you being here. And I will see you guys in the next.